Hello, welcome to the channel. Just getting the rod set up. Um, fishing somewhere where I think there's only one video on this area. Um, I'm in Gelt Woods, the River Gelt, which feeds into the River Irvine and it comes off the tops. And at Brampton Anglin, we can basically near enough fish it right the way up to the tops. Um, small trout. I think the club record actually comes from the River Gelt itself um, back in way back but yeah it's like a gorgy river fish is better when there's a bit of water on it the water at the minute is on the urban is a um, 0.29 so it's a steady flow and I'm looking down here at the car park for them who know where I'm at the, it's filled, the gorge is filled up with stone so I'm going to have a few chucks straight off the car park and go, come back up the gorge well, we're around a bit towards up past pots and pans, so let's see if we can catch some fish. So yeah, for them who don't know, um, the Gelt is actually a big battle over um, what to call. There's the Gelt there. There we go. Zoom and read if you want. But each side of the river years ago um, over they were fighting it's actually I think it's called the Battle of Gelt or something like that <coughs> they were fighting over um, Mary Queen of Scots to release her and everything else uh, so have a google it and see it feels like in a gorge um, over here this part a lot of people lost their lives in this river I've gone for a, a dry fly caddis pattern just to put a bit extra into it um, as you can see it's all been filled up with stone off the floods but yeah should you bang on What's that, three yards wide? So yeah, I've gone for a siege pattern. Um, a granum, female granum. Just, a, you know, it's September. The sieges are starting. Put some dink on there, just to help it float a bit. And just got to walk further up. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video. This is BAA Waters, Brampton Angling Association. Day tickets are available. Um, grilling tickets are available from um, basically the 1st of October, I think. If you just want to fish for grilling, <coughs> fly, and trot and worm only, nothing else. Which is fairly traditional on both sides. I don't know if there's any grilling in the river gelt I think it's all wild brownies um, yeah I'll ask the question at the next committee meeting <laughs> uh, a stupid question I know but hey you never know do you I don't think they could get up like the pots and pans area really to be fair Whew. what a view what a walk Oh, so just out for a couple of hours and uh, the rod I've got is uh, it's Orvis rod um, 7 foot 5 weight perfect for what I want to be using it for and uh, walk up the first deal <laughs> ah it's a beauty alright we'll see you in the water access is really really hard um, this is a nice pool this here very quiet the only thing that the noise is is water let's go in stealth water and see if I can get up that stone and put a fly up and see what we can do
got to find that dark bit. It's raining now. If you go watch out for this, is it rains that hard up on the top, it can uh, flash flood through here and you're washed away. That's why I'm not in the water. One more try on that deep bit there. Don't want to go any further up. Oh, we just had a fish rise at the fly. Did you see that? Right at the edge of that black bit. Someone give us a pull there. I'm in the tree. I'm out the tree. Right on the ground. Some of these places you fish. The hard bit is getting a fly line out to the fish. Especially when you've got a camera on your chest. Really want to get in that water, but I'm not going to risk it. I think that chance of that fish is gone. To be fair, well, we did have a rise, but wasn't to be. On to the next one. Let's say I'm not got a not got a, a try casting at the same fish. Um so that if you get spooked it'll just sod off. So I've got to get back out of here. Came up through there. Through that gap. <laughs> I see it a bit. I don't know if you can see that down there but that looks lovely like. <laughs> don't know if you can get to it. It's on the bottom. Uh, Whew. Need an oxygen tank with you while you're fishing on here. <laughs> no, you can't, it's a big old ledge. 
Whew. seats to rest so yeah that's uh, Brampton Middle Gulf let's see if we catch some fish Whew. Oh, the other thing about the, the Gelt Woods um, River Gelt is uh, it has um, Roman markings. Obviously, majority of the stone that looks just lovely down there. Can't get through. It's a big old drop. Majority of the stone for Hadrian's Wall was mined out of Gelt Woods. Um, so there's a bit of. Uh, History for you, if I'd say so myself. And you can actually see on the, I don't know if we'll get that way around, like, but further around there you can see all the chisel marks and whatnot. It actually looks pretty cool to be fair. But, uh, whew, yeah, see if we can. I really want to put a nymph pattern on, but I'll get a nymph maybe when I come back down or whatever. But yeah, uh, on with the fishing. Less of the chatting. I know I said less of the chatting and more of the fishing, but this bit here is called the pots and pans. Now, look at this. Oh. Imagine when this is in full flood. You know? Um, take it right the way up. It's only two yards wide on there, but they're slippy, them. Very, very slippy. But yeah, it's only a couple of yards wide. How oh, it's carved out over the years. Amazing, isn't it? There's a nice pool at the top of here, though. That's where I'm going. It's just amazing the power of water. You think this was all flat once, thousands of years ago, and now it's it's crazy, absolutely crazy. Slippy. Give it that. But yeah, mad. Sorry if my breathing's coming through on the on the mic. Uh, but like I say, it's absolutely brutal to rain this. And the only person you'll find on YouTube fishing it. I know there's a lot of lads at the club fish it, um, but no one has, a, has it on YouTube, so you'll not see this anywhere else. This is like the prime footage of the Gelt. Actually in the riverbed now, if it was on high, but yeah. Love his stretches. I know there's a pool up here, so I'll try and make my way to. There we have it, nice deep pool. Let's see if I can get across, flick some flies across. Look at all the stone that's moved across there, Jesus. <clears throat> nice stretch there, we'll hit this one first. Find a way to get into it. Hmm. It's a bit dodgy that one. Oh, yeah. I'm close here. As fishing goes, this has got to be one of the hardest places I've ever fished. Ever out of any fishing, just 
I'm going to slip through there. See if I can tease something to hit it on the top. Oh! Did you see it?
very tempted to put two spider patterns on I'm going to uh, put two spider patterns on. This is an interesting pool, this. There's a few fish moving around, so I'll bring this back in a bit. So, right, I've gone for the sniping purple, which is there, and then I've gone for a flyer made up. It's a good, nice spider pattern. Um, so, size 14, it's got hairs, hairs body, a wire rib, and two, ter two or three turns of a uh, great party tackle. Um, and a yellow head on the yellow, all on the yellow thread, just a as a point fly. So let's get into it. I've got them about oh, eight inches apart. So we can have a tester. Just cause obviously I don't want loads of room in the water. Um, in the, in the water, got loads of. Uh, before the rocks and that about. It's swing around naturally in here, pushing them round to there, to the left hand side. It's a big water shift these stones. The least cast you can do over overhead casting, the better when you're in a place like this. That's my advice to anybody who's starting. So deeper than you think, I've just done a bit there, it was a tankle deep. <laughs> Can't see how deep it is in there.
bottom of my boot. Could do some two pound line really, I've only got four pound I think. Just in case, so I've got the net. Yeah, where I roast our fish before. It's just on the start of that gravel bank. I'll stand out like a soft thumb up here. Right, on to the next one. See, you only get a little chance with these fish in these rivers. Hmm, we might have a go at that on the way back down. Yeah, that there is it where it's wet. Absolutely bang on. Oh well. Can't catch them all, can we? Oh. Away from that edge. Oh. What a place to fish. I should go have a cast just, just in there, just coming up past it a bit. Spider pattern's on. Just looks a nice bit of water that. I have no idea. Oh.
No one's home. Walk a little bit further, go and use this tree. Fish that next switch through. A few chucks and move on. Nice deep gorge again. You wouldn't wait in there. You, do, you wouldn't come back out. That could go underneath and come out down there somewhere. Next one. Oh, golly. I feel like swapping it round to a gold headed nymph just to give it a little bit extra weight. I can actually see a fish sitting down there. Oh, spooked them. Spooked enough and things. Ah, it's gone deep the pool. <laughs> They're already that big. Could see them sitting on the edges. Might be some more. There's another one just shot into that pool. Still one sat down there. I'll come back to that in a minute. Sat deep. Right. Come back. Chuck the gold and then fit them up here. If I can get out of their sight, hopefully, I can never one out. Now, because of where these fish are sitting, right tight at the bottom, I could see them on the sandstone or a red sandstone, um, and there's three or three or four move through the pool into the deep a bit. I've opted for a a jig head. So I can keep it up and bang. So I'm only just flicking out of the underneath rod tip. See if we get any. Just scared another fish. 
not massive, but It was sitting just down there, there were. And um, so yeah, I'm just walking back to the car now. I've had a good a good half an hour there on the jigs there's nothing they weren't interested once they seen us. It's nice to see the they just look like black shapes floating go through the water like bullets <laughs> and like I say about six inches long not big but the fish in here are absolutely gorgeous in colour just look and see if I can see any more obviously the water's crystal clear comes straight off the fells uh, straight over rocks right the way down but finding them you want a bit more water coming through I think um, on here apparently that's the crack when it's a little bit higher obviously you can imagine a lot more fish moving around but it's, uh, there's a bit more water running through these places uh, you don't want it too much like you get washed away um, but yeah just all rock Nice and all, crystal clear. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to that pool where that fish hit the dry fly. I've got one Edric spider on now, and um, see what we can achieve before it gets dark. So here we go. See if we can. Uh, obviously, that sand gravel bar runs right down the middle. Let's see if we can just tie something out with the Edric spider. Just seeing a fish hit something there. Obviously I don't want to go high up on there to fish, so I'm just letting it drift round. using the current to pull the line around
that will move the fly in the water. I'm actually using the current coming off my right side to work that fly. See, I'm holding it out. Watching the tip, and I'll bring it across. Now that's the anchor point, so now the fly's got to come back across this way. Like naturally the food will get pushed to the sides. Hey up, did you see that? I was about there. Probably the best pool I've come across so far, and uh, Another fish rose there. So now they're obviously feeding. Hopefully it'll swing it round nicely.
actually feel like putting the dry fly back on, do you know that? in the tree Roll cast and still get in the breeding tree. Oh. Check the fly. Well, we'll have one more cast and then I'm uh, going to get off. Fish rolls down. Fish rising all over.
And that people is a wrap. Can you just see my fly line? <laughs> I need to get to my desk, tie some small, some smaller dry flies up, um, and still recording. I oh, still recording. Get to the desk, tie some smaller dry flies before the season ends, and see if we can get one of these out of there. Because there's a lot of fish moving around in them pools. To be fair, uh, that one there and the last one. It seems a lot bigger in this one though. It's a deeper pool. Um, and up there they're just skimming over the rocks so yeah there you go it's not about the size of them okay look at the surroundings look at the surroundings of where you're fishing thousands of years of history um, literally thousands and it's just what an absolute gorgeous place and if you fall out with the fishing and it, if you're not catching fish it's you know it's it's just maybe it's not for you um because how can you not enjoy it in a place like this you know, it's absolutely amazing. That there's a nice pool, that. I really do like that pool. But yeah. Hit one with a dry. Definitely coming up and hitting something in that water. They didn't fancy the spider patterns. Um, you know, which be fit with a load of rocks. It's what Northern England's famous for. Spider patterns in places like this. Another few more weeks and the fly fishing will be over for the brown trout. And uh, our grilling season starts. Which, to be fair, I am looking really, really forward to. Um, I've had grilling, but they've been small. Now I know, I know for a fact, there's good grilling in where I fish on the lower oven. I've seen them. Um, but catching them, different story. I might even have to resort to trotting worm. But they have the risk of picking up the um, brown trout, which you do with a fly and all, to be fair, which I did a couple of years ago. Hooked into a belter, and I lost it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, there's another nice stretch. Don't know if well, we walked past that, didn't we? I think. Can't mind on. But yeah, it's. Uh, absolute you know it's a lot of people look forward to the grilling season and you can see why but the trotting i think the the rules on the trotting is minimum fly size is um sorry hook size is 12 size 12 whoa for the worming um i think that's what it is but if you're interested in a day session, hey up there's a frog. <laughs> if you're interested in a day session, go to the post office in Brampton or contract a treasurer. And uh, even next, like this year, I think it was either 30 or 35 pounds for a year's fishing on the river on the to join the club. That gives you fishing right throughout the season. Um, the trout and the grilling and to be fair even if you don't catch any fish it's, <laughs> you see by these videos that the, the places you fish are just magnificent like um, 
you know so if anyone's got any questions feel free to ask in the comments and uh, what else I was got to say yeah send some questions through in the comments and um, try my best to answer them if not I'll get someone else to ask them or if anyone fishes the Brampton Angler Association and you remember um, put some input and if, uh, if you go on to Facebook I have a page on there in fact I've got a couple of pages I've got Madmic Outdoor Activities and then I have um, Brampton Catch Reports it's been a few nice fish caught this year so it's always nice to see so yeah um, put some, join them pages give them a like or whatever and uh, you know it's just be have a big bit keep a bit of crack going where the hell's this path gone got lost now <laughs> I have to go this way it's a different way out there it's getting dark now I don't know if you can see but yeah just um, some input uh, like where you've been fishing for like the catch report wise where you've been fishing um, your method and uh, whatever else you know um, really much appreciated and uh, if you have send me your oxygen tank <laughs> I'm flying up here the weight is a whew, nice lightweight me bag weighs more than my weighs I think <clears throat> but yeah bit of exercise bit of fishing me and muttering on talking rubbish you know it's a <coughs> bit different to the sea fishing <laughs> sessions let's put it that way oh we have a good laugh um, oh. if you like sea fishing there's plenty of videos of sea fishing on here which will be starting soon for me and Toothless <coughs> I was actually going to go tonight but came down here for a couple of hours instead <sighs> see where there's a seat there now Whew. get the back of the legs burning just that people <sighs> I post videos um, no matter the outcome blanking catching I show the true the true side of fishing on here ah some daylight <laughs> it's only about half seven it's pitch black in them woods but yeah lovely walks and um, car park's free at the bottom just off the A69 and um, whew, near the old lane and pub but yeah I'll see you later any old trek I've covered today. <laughs> uh, thank you all for watching. Um, if you can like, share, and subscribe, and send me your oxygen tank. <sighs> Back down the hill, what goes down must come up. <laughs> right, see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>